Ladies, does this feeling ever get old? I know that you're used to it, kind of being here on this day, especially in this building, but does, do you ever take this one for granted? No, never. You know, not a lot of teams can say that they're able to do this. Um, and so for us to be able to do that, it just feels really good, and it's such a blessing that we won't ever take for granted. Right here in the middle, Pete, and then we'll go to the right. Pete at the AP. Zaya, um, that first quarter, they were able to kind of take it to you guys and get around for some easy baskets. What did you guys do in the second quarter to really lock it down and turn the game? Um, I think we just had to start attacking them the same way they were attacking us. Uh, Coach kept telling us we see how they're playing, so we got to make sure we're doing the same thing. Um, but they definitely were get, getting down on, downhill on us, and we just wanted to make sure we did the same thing, made layups, and, and just became great defenders. Gamecock scoop. Uh, Alan Cole, Gamecock scoop. I guess for any of you, but that two-point guard lineup, Kiera and Raven playing together, kind of changed the game early second quarter. What is it about that setup? They haven't, you haven't used it much, but what is it about that that just works well playing together? Yeah, I mean, they're, gr they're two great point guards, um, and they both play at two different paces, and so it's pretty good mm -hmm. to kind of have that mix at the same time happening. But, I mean, they both see the floor really well, and I think they did a great job of attacking the guards' feet. Right here, Athletic. Chantel Jennings with The Athletic. Aliyah, two questions for you. The first part, before Dawn started recruiting you, what did you know about the state of South Carolina exactly, or what did you think about the state of South Carolina? And now, having probably played your last game in the state, unless a WNBA franchise relocates here, what has this state meant to you? Yeah, um, well, I knew the weather was good. <laughs> so I'm just going to – that's probably – um, the biggest thing for me. But honestly, South Carolina has been a home for four years, um, somewhere where I really grew up, and so it's always going to be that second home to me. And it's going to feel so good when I, you know, come back whenever it is, visit, see everybody, see the coach. It's going to be really nice. Mm -hmm. it will. Right here. <laughs> hey, Emily Adams, uh, Greenville News. Uh, for any of you guys, I mean, you all were celebrating with your families on the court and everything. Just kind of what's that moment like as seniors to have them all around you? Um, I mean, that and on top of that, you got the fans, and this is our senior season, so I mean, it's surreal to, you know, finish that and go to a Final Four game, like she said earlier, not many can say that. And then just to, you know, look into the crowd and see our, our parents, you know, a couple feet away, you know, how proud they are of us um, as women making it this far, and I mean, it, it's a blessing to be here. Grace. Uh, Grace Rayner with The Athletic. Uh, for any of you, a little bit of a two-parter. Did you guys get an opportunity to watch any of Iowa last night? And what do you make of this matchup and specifically what it means for the game? I think Caitlin Clark is trending already on Twitter. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think we definitely, we definitely watched them. But uh, like I said, I just think we really want to cherish this moment right now with each other. Um, when it's time to scout for them, we'll definitely do that. In the back. Hey, Aaliyah, Chaz Frazier, ABC Columbia over here. Yeah. Uh, this game kind of mirrored the first matchup you guys had with them, a tightly contested first half. Then you guys pull away in the second. What do you think allowed you guys to do that once again? I think the way we were attacking, I think we attacked a lot more coming from the guards and the post, which um, was really good because, you know, they were doing a great job of pressuring, so they were higher up on the floor, which kind of left the backside a little bit more open for um, attacks, which is really good. But I also think that we used our length. I mean, we had Camilla in, and we threw lobs over the top, and she was able to rebound, give us second chances at other possessions, so we did that. State in the back on the left. Jeremiah Holloway with the state. Uh, this is for any of the three of you. Um, of course, in this same building, you know, cutting the nets down a couple of weeks ago and then obviously, you know, making the final four years after, you know, you know, the last three years. What kind of keeps that moment special for you guys, you know, knowing that you've done it again, but, you know, continue to do it? What kind of keeps the moment, uh, keeps that specialness of the moment? Um, I think, I, I mean, for me personally, I know, you know, what it feels like to lose. I know what it feels like to be sent home. Uh, so, I mean, every game that we played this season, we play, you know, with that feeling on our, our mind, on our chest. So, uh, really going into any game we play, we, we don't want that feeling. So, I mean, especially this time of year, everybody's bringing it. Everybody knows, you know, what they got to give to be able to continue on and make it to a Final Four game. Question on Zoom. Go ahead, Nancy. Nancy Armour, USA Today. Um, this is going to be from any one of you. Several teams that have, have played, you guys talk about, you come at them in waves. You know, there's your starting lineup, there's your bench, you're big, you know, you're long, and it's, you know, you can't ever really get ahead of you guys. Have you ever faced a team like that or been in a situation like that? 
And if you, if you did, can you remember what it was like to be in that situation? So just to get this clear, you're talking about like a team with length light, and size like us? Is that what you're yeah, saying? or just ha that has your depth and just, you know, like I said, comes at you wave after wave after wave. Yeah, I mean, I think Stanford, playing Stanford, I mean, they are pretty long from point guard um, up to their post, and they have several posts, um, Cam and Betts. So, I mean, they do a great job of that, and they also score the ball really at a high level, so you can't really ever take a possession off with them. So I definitely think that they are probably one of the teams that match with us in size. Got time for maybe one more question for a student athlete, Gabrielle. Um, Y'all correct so well, whether that be in a, a new game or in a second half. What about this team does a good job correcting errors? And then, Aliyah, I know in the SC tournament you gave away uh, your trophy. Um, did you give your trophy this time, or you keep it? I don't, I don't even sure. know where it is. Did I get one? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Where I don't know. Um, I think just, <laughs> I think just us being able to talk about it at halftime, even before the coaches come in, we talk about things that we're seeing. If we need to come over and help side more, if we need um, something else offensively, and then you know, Coach Staley comes in and she talks, and we just listen and we adapt. I mean, the biggest thing about games, especially now deep in March, is being able to adjust. And so, the quicker we do that, the better it will be for our team. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you guys.